While Nearpod has many valuable features for educators to use, here are what we think are the top three things to know about Nearpod. Accessibility. Nearpod is an excellent example of how EdTech tools can go beyond accessibility and be created with universal design for learning in mind. Nearpod uses immersive reader to provide text-to-speech, translation, contrast, and additional text accessibility features within a lesson. Immersive Reader is compatible with many of Nearpod's content and activity features, and even though it does not read text on images, teachers can input alternate text along with the images, which Immersive Reader is compatible with. Formative Assessment As many educators are aware of, there are two main types of assessment, formative and summative. The latter assesses how much students have learned over the course of a long unit of instruction or period of time, but formative assessment is used by educators to get a feel for how well each student is understanding the material that is being taught. Nearpod gives educators the ability to adjust lessons on the fly and offers support to students based on real-time performance data. Through Nearpod's formative assessment features, educators can tailor instruction to individual students' needs so that every student can feel supported, secure, and seen in the classroom. Privacy. In the digital age, privacy is often overlooked, forgotten, or misunderstood. Educators should be able to feel comfortable with the tools that they are using in the classroom with regards to the safety of the students that they are responsible for. Nearpod complies with both COPPA and FERPA, as well as laws specific to states, such as CCPA and Nevada SB 220. Nearpod also complies with the EU-US Privacy Shield Framework, as set forth by the US Department of Commerce and the provisions of the European General Data Protection Regulation regarding the collection, use, and retention of personal information from the European Union and the United Kingdom to the United States. Most of the data that Nearpod collects from individuals is from teachers or administrators and not from students, which helps educators to feel more comfortable using the tool.